Okay, so in this video, we'll be solving again another problem involving force on a conductor carrying a current in a magnetic field. So let's go directly to the problem. Okay, so we have a wire 12 cm long and carrying a current of 30 amperes is placed in between the pole face of a magnetic of a magnet whose magnetic flux density is 0 0.9 tesla. Okay, so 0 0.9 tesla is the uh, magnetic field okay or the magnetic flux density if the wire is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees from the plane of the magnetic field what is the force exerted on the wire so we need to note that our wire or the axis of the wire is 60 degrees an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the magnetic field so we could not use the f f formula F is equals to beta I times L but rather the other formula which has the um, function of sine okay so we need to have our solution okay so let's have our solution in this um, slide so F okay, so our formula is equals to beta I L because the flux and the um, axis of the wire or the direction of current is not perpendicular to each other so we have an angle so sine alpha okay so we need to write our given so our beta is 0 0.9 tesla okay then our current okay we should have this one in this color okay so our current is 30 amperes our length is 12 cm so we need to convert that in meters so that is 12 uh, 100 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so we end up with 0 0.12 meters and our angle is 60 okay so we have 60 degrees okay so substituting that one so maybe we could do this one this part so we have f is equal to beta which is 0 0.9 tesla times i which is 30 amperes times 0 0.12 meters sine 60 degrees okay so now we will have our calculator okay so we have mm, that is 0.9 okay 0 0.9 times 30 times 0. Point um, that is 0 0.12 sine 60 okay so we need to take note that our uh, unit or our unit for the angle is degree so our calculator must be set up in degrees okay so we will have 2.81 newton so the force is 2.81 newton okay so our F is equals to 2.81 Newton and this will be our answer okay so that is the solution and the answer for this problem so I hope you learned something in this video and as always enjoy learning